Okay, right. Um, I tried to put some videos, um, um, some thumbnails, and just I was trying to see a way of getting some images that I took with the SD Quattro uh, yesterday on the on the video description. I couldn't do it, so I'm going to do it the simple way and just simply make another video and show you some of them. Uh, so here, here they go. Um, look at. This one, I, I I think I added that, if you remember in the last video, I showed you the um, different colour modes that they you can put on this camera. And I think this one was the sunset red. And look how those colours pop. Um, you know, I mean, these are really sharp. It, the detail, I don't know if you can really see it on, on YouTube, but... Um, the the um, images there you go here's one now this one I didn't do anything with the by the way these are completely unedited I haven't edited these in any way or form these are as they come out the camera um, and this is exactly how they look I've not edited them done nothing to them um, and look how the colours pop look how those colours in those trees pop I mean I I absolutely I'm, I'm blown away with some of these um, images. I really was. Uh, here's another one. And the, the, the detail here on the um, leaves, the icicles. Um, I mean, it's almost like a macro shot. Uh, really nicely um, done I've, I've got to say I'm very Im impressed um, there's another one here if I can find it bear with me oh no it's a trouble there's not much control here's another one there you go and again, look how the the trees in the background uh, really beautiful colours. And uh, these were without the um, colour profiles. This one, I think I used the sunset, the red sunset colour mode, and you can see how they work. Uh, with the others, I didn't. The the others are just with the normal mode and how they come out there you go that's the normal and even then look how the colors pop out um really impressed uh, and there was another one uh, there was another one with with a uh, with a berry, is that it? No, uh, there we go. And look how sharp that berry is. Uh, just enlarge that. I don't know if you can see that, but that, I mean, it's really sharp. The detail, it's like a macro shot. Um, incredible. So there you go. There's some of the shots I took yesterday, and I just, I just want to show how the colours pop. And when you add those other colour modes that I showed you, I only used the one, the red sunset, um, which uh, produced that one, and that looks lovely. I didn't use the blue or the yellow or the other modes. I use them, and that's just normal. So either way, the colours look with the red and even without the red and you can see, still see how I, 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 I've taken similar pictures in the past I don't remember the colours popping out to the extent this is so um, there you go uh, anyway I'm just waiting for my next camera to arrive and uh, I'll probably be doing another
videos soon. I'll probably do the Mark IV thirds one next. Um, and a couple of lenses um, to talk about. Because I don't think the other uh, Quattro, I don't think he's even shipped it yet. I know he probably can't anyway, so I suspect I'm not going to see that till next week. Um, so, till the next one, hope you enjoyed these pictures. Uh, gives you a good idea how the image quality of this, of the SD Quattro. And now maybe you can see why I'm starting to fall in love with it. Anyway, till the next one.